guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Michelle Miko Dean, your group fitness instructor, all the way here from Atlanta, Georgia. I just finished my workout, and y'all, I struggled so much during that workout. I had to come on, be transparent, and just let you guys know I'm human just like you. I fell off the game. I have been so off my workout game, and uh, the way my body is set up, I gain weight very easily, and so I have to stay on track with my workouts and with my eating. And I thought to myself, hey, if this has happened to me, I know it is happening to you either now or sometime in the past. And so I wanted to come on and share with you what I do, four things that I do uh, when I am off my game with my exercising, with my eating to get immediately back on track and start to lose some weight. So if there's something that you want to hear, then definitely keep watching. The video is a little bit longer, but I only I not only explain to you what I do, but I explain to you why I do it and kind of the science behind it. So you would know exactly why this works, okay? So if you are not a part of the Fit and Fabulous crew, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also hit the no bell notification so you are notified anytime I upload a video, you know, these YouTube anorigms or whatever they call them, you may or may not see my videos when I upload them. So the bell notification, boom, you get it right in your email, okay? So with no further ado, let's get right into it. that includes cardio and weights. Now, you may think you're gonna burn more calories with your aerobic workouts. However, weight training is gonna build the muscle, which ultimately is gonna burn more fat and calories. And that's because of something called EPOC or the afterburn effect. Now, EPOC stands for Excess Post-Exercise Oxygen Consumption. I know that's a mouthful, but basically what happens, so you know, after you work out, you're breathing really hard, you have to bring in all this oxygen, and that is so you can bring your body back to a resting state. And your body is going to convert fat to energy during that extra oxygen consumption, and that's why you ultimately burn more fat. Now, there's been tons of research done on this by PhDs and researchers for the benefit of us as a consumer, and basically what they found is that during your anaerobic training, which is your weight training, you're ultimately going to burn more fat and calories in the afterburn or epoch phase than you do with your aerobic training, your cardio training. And so that's why it's super important to include weights with your workouts, especially when you're trying to get back on track. Now you guys know I use home exercise DVDs for my personal workouts. Now I am a group fitness instructor, so sometimes I will do those workouts, but those times when I don't want to think about what I'm doing, I just want to follow along with somebody else, I love home workout DVDs. They're led by an instructor, uh, the workout is put together for you so you see the best results, and you get cues on form and technique. So the home exercise DVDs are perfect. Guys, I have tons of workout DVDs, and when I really want to get in shape, I get on one of my 60 or 90 day programs, and I do have those videos for you on my uh, blog channel, jubilfreezone.com. I'm going to link those below if you want to check those out. Um, but today, I use an oldie but a goodie. It's a workout by The Firm, which is not in existence anymore, but it's called The Ultimate Calorie Blaster, and I love this one. It's a 45-minute workout. It includes cardio and weights, but the most important reason why I love this workout is because it includes the step and I love using the step in my workouts because you guys I get the fastest and the best results when I use the step. It shapes my glutes, it shapes my thighs, it helps me get rid of fat and those cellulite pockets. It's really such an awesome workout for your lower body and I love using the step on an incline to execute my lunges. You guys know I have knee pain so I always have to be mindful of that and with the incline I it's going to reduce the stress on your knee joint and so I can execute my lunges pain-free and I also can go deeper in my lunges than than I can without the step. Now after my workout, I always get in a good protein shake to get some good protein in my body to help my muscles resynthesize and grow and build. And I always make my own. The store-bought smoothies and shakes, are they contain way too much sugar. Um, maybe not all of them, but most of them do. So I would recommend you read your labels, see what the ingredients are, so you don't think you're putting something healthy in your body when you're not. And so what I do to make my smoothie, this is my favorite smoothie. I use unsweetened vanilla almond milk, my favorite protein powder um, by Beverly. A couple spoonfuls of a spirulina. Spirulina is excellent, has lots of health benefits. Google it. One pack of the Quaker maple brown sugar instant oatmeal, love that stuff, and a couple ice cubes. I blend it all up with my hand blender. I love this mixer, by the way, and pour it into my shaker cup, and I am good to go. 
I normally put all natural peanut butter in my shakes, but I had some peanuts earlier, so I skipped it today. But this is my favorite shake, and because I put in the oatmeal, it really uh, acts as a meal and it holds me to my next meal. The fourth thing that I do is I clean up my diet. I don't go on any of those fat diets. I basically just watch the calories that I intake and also the quality of the food that I put in my body. So basically, I will have a lean protein, a grain leafy vegetable, and then a whole grain starch, um, which is gonna give me the energy, and that is your complete meal. You eat until you're satisfied, you put the weight at rest, and you save it for later. I have an article on my blog, thejigglefreezone.com, where I tell you how to determine how many calories you need a day to lose weight. It's called the calorie deficit. And I've had my blog since 2010, so I have tons of articles that talk about weight, nutrition, meals, fitness, how to get back into fitness. I have tons of healthy meals on my website and also an article that tells you specifically how to get back on track when you have fallen off the wagon. So definitely check out my blog, you guys, if you need some help getting back on track and getting your body back to looking the way you want it to look because we all love ourselves. We want to feel good in our skin, right, and in our clothes. So definitely hit up my blog site. I got all the tips for you. I got you, girl. I got you. I also offer personal one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you need some personalized help, then definitely hit me up. You can use the contact me uh, feature on my website and I will get back to you. So thank you so much, Jiggle Free Zone, for tuning into my channel today. I hope the information I shared with you today was helpful. Until the next video, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and make sure you get fit and fabulous.